What are the number one and number two writing questions I wished I could have asked someone when I first got started writing? Well, welcome to another session of Walking with Randy. Hope you enjoy today's session. We're dealing with the topic or what are the number one and number two writing questions I wish I could have asked somebody when I first started writing. Well, that first question was back then, before the days of personal computers. It said trying to reconnect, so I think we're back. That first question was, how can I get past the blank page staring me in the face? And then after I got past that, there was a second question, and it quickly followed. And that question was, how can I avoid having a waste can filled up with crumpled up pieces of paper. Nowadays, the questions are the same, but they take just a little different form. Those questions would be, how can I get past the blinking cursor staring at me on my screen? And how can I avoid filling up my digital waste basket and still not have anything to show for my writing session. Well, through the years I've discovered some solutions to these problems. Would you like to hear them? Thought you would. <laughs> Here they are. They were consist of two magical statements and one inexpensive electronic device. That first magical statement came whenever I was doing writing projects for a doctoral program that I was working on. And I had blank pieces of paper. I couldn't get started on them. I just procrastinated getting started. Perfectionism was driving me crazy. Then after I did do some typing, I had a wastebasket with crumpled up papers because they were just not good enough. Well, the first magical statement came to me. Went, I went to a conference that was put on by our graduate school. And the vice president of the institution looked at all of us and said, some of you are not doing anything. And then he just pled with us. And he said, just give me something. Well, after I went back home, I remembered his words. And so whenever I sat down to write, he said, just give me something. And so I wrote something. And then I was getting ready to crumple up the paper and throw it in the wastebasket. But his word came back to me, just give me something. So I said, okay, you're gonna get something. I put it aside and I started the next writing project. Did the same thing with it. About two weeks later, I went back and looked at those things that I had written. And I thought, well, those are not half bad. And so I did submit them. Now, they weren't all perfect, but I will say this cumulatively they were enough that I got A's on each of those writing projects that I had put off for months. And so that first magical statement was just give me something. And it helped me very much. Years later, I got a job as a staff writer writing uh, textbooks for a Christian school publishing company. And in those textbooks, uh, when I was first charged with that task, I was told that we had to write 700 words a day. Well, that was agonizing to me, trying to get those 700 words out. And they had to be the perfect 700 words. Uh, and then later, the pressure is off a little bit. They said, well, they don't have to be 700 words each day, but it needs to be an average of 700 words a day in order for us to meet our deadlines. Well, I agonized through that for a while until that magical statement came back to me. 
just give me something. So I determined every day that at the beginning of the day, I would write 700 words. They would just be something, but they would be something. And so at the beginning of the day, I wrote 700 words. After about an hour or hour and a half every day, I had my quota of 700 words on the topics I was writing about. And it was wonderful. I had six and a half hours every day. I could make those words much better words than what I had to start with, but at least I had something. And I could go back to those things I had written before, and I could uh, edit those, make them better, before it was actually uh, completed. And then, as I uh, went through that, I, uh, I could research for what was going to happen in the days to come. Well, you can see that was just a variation of that first statement, just give me something. Now, the second magical statement is one that I came up with, and it's one that I used to help a student of mine when I was a college professor. And I told him when he was getting ready to write, he needed to trick his subconscious. So I told him to tell himself, it really doesn't matter. Now you and I both know that the end products really do matter. But it is great if you can tell yourself when you're trying to get started, it really doesn't matter, just right. You can see that's a variation of that first statement that the vice president gave me when he said, just give me something. But that is the secret. I wish I had known that many years earlier. I would have gotten my doctorate more quickly <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't have ag agonized those first few weeks that I started writing for the Christian Publishing Company. Well, then I told you that there was an in inexpensive electronic device that I found out. And I have it here in my pocket. And here it is. I don't know how well you can, yeah, you can see it, can't you? The uh, spelling on it might be backwards, but it's just a simple kitchen timer. A simple kitchen timer. If you want to get past that blank cursor that's on your page, figure out your topic, or better yet, ask yourself a question about it, then hit that timer and take off. Start writing. Just give yourself something. Tell your subconscious it really doesn't matter and write until the timer goes off. When the timer goes off, just put an ellipses and then go on to the next part of your writing project. Now, I like to set it for five or six minutes. Some people like to set their timers to 10 minutes. But that artificial deadline of that timer has proved to be very helpful to me through the years. Well, those are the solutions to the two number one and number two writing questions I wished I could have asked when I first started writing. So, the magical statements are, just give me something, it really doesn't matter, and the device is a simple kitchen timer. Well, I hope these writing tips are helpful to you. If you would like more writing tips like these, go to randysblogs.com. Glad you joined me for another session of Walking with Randy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.